Greetings everybody, this is Dave Matuzic from MacDeck Engineering, and I've got another quick tech tip for you guys here. I have here a piece of geometry I'm borrowing from a customer's part to show you um, a curve creation command that could be pretty useful for you guys here, and I'll probably show you some of these other commands in a few more videos. And what I have here on this part is I need to draw a piece of geometry right down the center of this curved area. Now this actually isn't a true arc. It's not a line. It has curvature to it. It's actually quite a complex surface. It's deceivingly complex. So to rough it, I ended up having to use a toolpath called Surface Rough Project, but I needed a curve right down the middle in order to get that to happen. So the way I did that is I used one of these curve commands here, and the curve command I use is called flow line curve flow line. And if you've ever used surface finish flow line or surface rough flow line, you know that it follows the curvature of the surface. A toolpath follows along the curvature of that surface. So I'm going to click here on this face. And by default, I get a whole bunch of geometry. And really, I just want the geometry down the middle. And I have a cheat for that. I can put it on number, and if I have this number here set to 3, it's going to do the very edge, the other very edge, and the center. And that's how it'll find that center for me, it's just by putting that number to 3. Now, if I wanted the curves to go the other direction for some reason, it's a matter of switching my direction to the V direction, so I get U and V, so that's the different directions. I can also do it by a, so we set chord height, so the distance of the chord can be separated from the surface. We can do it by a distance here, point 0.1, or a distance. So I'm leaving, the, or sorry, on a number. So I'm leaving this here on a number set to 3. So that will allow me to draw the center line of that surface. In this case, it's not an arc, it's not a line, it had to be a spline, and this drew it for me. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.